Is there a connection between guilt and illness? Cornelius, hello. Hello. My question today, to start with, is, is there a connection between guilt and illness? Yeah. Um, when, we, when we read the Bible, we see that the diseases, the illness, they are a consequence of our wrong lifestyle, to say it easy. Mm -hmm. um, but you must be very careful. When I have a disease or a child is born with illness, it doesn't mean that there is a direct connection. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a global situation mm -hmm. and we are part of it. Mm -hmm. We are influenced, we drink water, we eat different stuff and mm -hmm. everywhere is poison is... Um, so we are influenced of mm -hmm. it everywhere. It means when people are ill, it doesn't mean that it is their personal mm -hmm. guilt. Mm -hmm. That's very important uh, when we try to help people to judge in their situation. Uh, it's too easy and it's very dangerous to say to such people only this idea you are ill because you have sinned. Mm -hmm. yeah. This can be totally wrong. Mm -hmm. You talked about the global problem and how we are part of the global issues. But is there a connection between our personal lives and guilt and illnesses? Yeah, uh, it, it, that's very easy, you know. When, uh, when I drink 10 liter vodka every day, what is happening with my organs? Yeah. So we know that there is a personal guilt often when mm -hmm. people are ill mm -hmm. or uh, when people have some hurts or problems. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a sportsman. I'm together with many people who are training very hard. Mm -hmm. And what happens very often, the most of them, they have a broken back and uh, kaput and knees and everything. Mm -hmm. Too much. Mm -hmm. So there are reasons personal mm -hmm. guilt because we are suffering or uh, why we have problems. Yes, this is possible. Mm -hmm. And the other point is uh, often people are ill and this is a very important point because they are not able to forgive. Mm -hmm. This is another dimension and this is also my guilt mm -hmm. when I don't do it because Jesus says I shall forgive. Mm -hmm. He wants us to forgive. And we often think when we forgive something which has happened to me, then I say, ah, it was not so difficult, ah, it is not so uh, dangerous. Mm -hmm. But it is not true. Mm -hmm. Maybe it is very, very bad what happened to me. But when I don't forgive and I think about it, it's like a poison which is mm -hmm. going through my body. Mm -hmm. We know today by examinations that when people think about the evil, what has happened, during one week, the body is producing as much poison mm -hmm. that you can kill a rat with it. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And this poison is destroying us. It is doing something with us. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus wants us to forgive that we change the infusion. Mm -hmm. When I think about the evil, which happened to me, the poison is going through my body. Mm -hmm. But when I forgive, when I come to Jesus and receive his peace, mm -hmm. there is flowing much mm -hmm. more better <laughs> through my body, his peace. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So forgiveness is setting me free. Mm -hmm. uh, when I don't do it, I have a problem. Mm -hmm. And I know many people and they are ill because they cannot forgive. Only one example, I met a woman and she called me and she, she is very ill and she had such a strange history that I really was taking the train to meet her in Germany. Mm -hmm. uh, it's already almost 20 years ago, I was very young. Uh, I had never heard such thing before because she said that uh, she get cramps in the whole body and she's lying in the room sometimes six hours because of this and uh, that she has problems with the skin and I thought this is crazy. And when I met her, 
she told me, because I asked, what do you think is the reason for this? And she became angry and mm -hmm. said, because some people has done something evil to her, there it started. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly the problem. Some people are more sensitive, others not. Mm -hmm. But it can happen that it happens something which is a total blockade there for mm -hmm. us or destroys mm -hmm. something. And forgiveness is the only way to come free. Or another woman, she, she wrote to me here in Czech because I was talking about this on a seminar and she mm -hmm. realized, oh, my problem with my eyes started when I started to fight with my sister about the in inheritance. Mm -hmm. The sister made problems, if this is true, I don't know, but mm -hmm. she said, uh, there it happened, something, mm -hmm. and she got uh, eyes problems. And no do doctor was able to help her. And by the seminar, she understood that there is a connection. Mm -hmm. And so she asked for forgiveness, and she forgave her sister, and she said from that moment, uh, the problem was gone. Mm. So there are connections, and forgiveness is the only way to come out of it. Mm -hmm. So many different dimensions. Guilt means not only what I have done, mm -hmm. it is also guilt when I not forgive. Mm -hmm. It can bring me in big troubles. Mm -hmm. We, um, as we speak about these different perspectives, um, the most common one, or the way that most people think when they hear a bad news is that um, it is a punishment from God. I have done something wrong, God is punishing me. What would be some other ways to think about it differently? Yeah, uh, many, many different ways. Uh, Jesus said once in this uh, situation, there was a man born blind and they asked him, who is guilty? Were the parents guilty mm -hmm. or was the, the man guilty? But this is funny because he became blind before he has done something, yeah. so maybe God is punishing him for the things he later does. Mm -hmm. you, you see, a little bit crazy. But yeah. Jesus said, no, this disease is to glorify God. Mm -hmm. um, and he got healed and became a sign mm -hmm. for the authority of Jesus. And we have many different perspectives. Uh, many people judge in one situation, this is bad, this is guilt, and so on, but God could maybe have a total different plan. Mm -hmm. And there are so many other perspectives, as I said. I can tell another very interesting perspective on this. Once in the Bible, uh, a mother comes with her son to mm -hmm. the prophet, mm -hmm. because the son became ill. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to know, and the husband, as her man, wanted to know what will happen with the son. And the prophet had a very bad news. He said, when you go home, the son will die. Mm -hmm. It sounds crazy. But the prophet says, he will die because God has found something good. Mm -hmm. in him. Huh? It's totally strange. Yeah. How does it go together? But the point is this, and now we must know the whole history. Mother and father were very terrible people. Mm -hmm. The father was one of the most terrible kings mm -hmm. in that time. And they made so much evil, and they got so many enemies because of this. God saw that this family will die very brutal, to mm -hmm. say it with easy words. Mm -hmm. And he wanted to spare the son from these horrible happenings which are coming. Mm -hmm. That's why the son got a disease to die in peace, mm -hmm. to get a funeral and honor mm -hmm. from the society, mm -hmm. but the rest would go through hell to say mm -hmm. it yeah, yeah. easy. Mm -hmm. So the aim here was that God is taking out the son because he has found something good on him. Mm -hmm. And I always try to understand difficult things with easy examples. And once I was watching a football match and there was a, a football team mm -hmm. 
terrible. Mm -hmm. They were playing terrible football and they got one, one goal after another and the fans, they were, they went crazy. Probably upset, yeah. But there was one in the team, he was fighting until the end. Mm -hmm. And what has the trainer done? Some minutes before the game was over, he was taking out the best. Mm -hmm. Why? Yeah, very easy. All the fans, they had realized he was fighting. And he, he got the respect of the whole mm -hmm. stadium. But when the end came, the others, they got yeah. Shikovani from mm -hmm. all the thousands. Mm -hmm. And this is a little bit of perspective. The trainer is taking out the best mm -hmm. to honor him. Mm -hmm. And the rest gets Stay what there. they deserve. Mm -hmm. So I only mean to, to see and to find perspectives mm -hmm. in situations. It can help in difficult situations to find the truth with mm -hmm. God's help. Mm -hmm. I think the, the biblical perspectives are very rich. There are mm -hmm. many different and uh, they help us to live a life in harmony with God and not going under in our situations. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much. This is so interesting and thank you for sharing your stories with the people that you have met personally and examples of how we can understand this difficult topic. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure.